this is April Love Rose. I have not made a lot of video or talk about this rose much this year. Um, in this corner this year, I have not done much at all uh, since summer because it has been so hot. Uh, so I am going to start working on this part of the garden uh, maybe in a few weeks. Hopefully, when when it gets when it gets um, cooler. And as far as the health and the overall growth of this rose, you may have seen in one of the video that it is growing like a clamber and I let it grow tall like a clamber. You can, it is not a climbing rose. It is a shrub rose, but like I mentioned, I just let it grow tall in order to um, have it along the lattice over here. And with that part on top, I'm going to bring that down and then train to the left side in order to promote more more blooms even if when i didn't train it look at the spent blooms up there so many spent blooms that i cannot get up to because it's too tall so I'm, i need to get a ladder and then start pruning and then train it overall health of this rose this year it is doing very well it um, gets black spots here and there. I would say this year moderate. Not bad. Um, in a no spray garden. I don't use anything. This year though it gets um, it gets hit really hard by thrip. And usually this one it does not get damaged by thrips in the previous year but this year I guess the populations are just crazy but as you can see an overall hill this is still looking pretty good and green looking uh, a lot healthier than some of my roses in other areas it even has like new shoot right here this one is really healthy looking with the new growth and it has buds over here too love the new growth and another bud right here and to my surprise I came out yesterday and saw this cluster right here the color is just so vibrant look at that and with this heat everything gets washed out by the sun bleach them to really light color to like white but this one it's it um, the color is very intense so I am going to cut this right here and then bring inside to enjoy and if you would like to know whether it's fragrant or not yes this rose is very fragrant i don't know how to describe the the scent but it smells good it's not fruity um they smell like candy but of course uh, the scent sense of smell is different from one person to another but I can tell that it is a very intense it has intense fragrance that is so pretty last year April love it blooms a whole lot consistently from spring to summer to late fall so i was able to bring this rose to enjoy um, of course this year the weather has been very rough i am grateful and surprised that um, it is still blooming because honestly 
not much is blooming right now and this is um, towards the end of August here last year I got more blooms of out of all the roses in the garden but not this year but that could be because I have not done um, a lot of fertilizing last year I fertilized throughout the whole year even during the summer time I fertilize every three weeks three week or four week but of course this year it is just way too hot so that has not been done um, in a while but I just put down some fish fertilizer uh, to help boost a little bit and we'll we'll see if that will push out new flush um, hopefully in a few weeks so I'm going to make another video update on that one and another rose that I want to show you is this one wicked sister from antique rose emporium if you are in texas you may know that there is a nursery that has been selling antique roses um, i mean they don't only sell antique roses but they are known for selling old garden roses called antique rose emporium you can look up online as well i got this one from a someone in my rose group and I planted, when did I plant? I planted last year. Yes, I think I got it in October of last year. And then I planted. So this one grows, um, it, it grows tall like a climber. So I went ahead and then trained it on my, my homemade trellis. It is, I think it's parent is a cross is a mix between um what is it the david austin rose i cannot think of the name my brain just went blank but anyhow um it's supposed to be a b better version of it is the mix between David Austin and another rose that I can't remember the name anyhow it gets um, thrip damages as well I thought that it might be more pest tolerant but that may come with age however it manages to bloom it has not bloomed in a few weeks, but now it is putting out blooms. The colors more intense in the spring, but it is still very pretty given how how hot the sun is and how it can bleach everything. This rose lasts quite a few days on on the on the bush. as you can see this one like from foliages deform foliages this is the sign of um, thrip damage so hopefully when the weather gets cooler things will improve always have some hope right i know it has been very challenging this whole summer especially in texas and most likely in some other southern states that don't get much rain it's hot and make coming outside difficult and then seeing your roses or plants or anything struggle it's just not not easy at all but like i mentioned this too shall pass nothing will last forever good blooms don't last forever bad weather won't last forever everything has um, their own time and cycle so hang in there and have faith 
and I hope that you are going to have a wonderful, wonderful day and stay cool.